So today let's analyze Wix and that's a company that created a platform that allows you to make your own website, make your own uh, internet store without actually knowing anything about coding. So they have a really nice product, but does it mean that we should invest in this company at the current price? Well, let's find out. First of all, let's see uh, who's investing in this company right now. So investors, insider buys, that's an X. Uh, nobody that is uh, working at this company at the high level is currently buying the shares of uh, weeks. And uh, that doesn't have to be a red flag because there can be a number of reasons why they're not buying. Uh, but uh, if we would get a check, that is always an indication that uh, there is a chance that something good is happening inside the company. Okay, what about super investors? So that's a check. And there are actually two super investors who invested in Wix recently. And that is Pat Dorsey and Robert Vinal. And both of them are extremely smart and they're really great investors. Uh, so let's try to figure out why they invested in Wix. And is this a company that we also should think about as, as an investment? Okay, so the fundamentals. Return on invested capital. That's an X. And actually the return on invested capital is minus 16.9%. That is a red flag in a way. But of course uh, you can say, well, it's a growing company. So right now they're not uh, generating uh, profit and they're growing so that's fine maybe but we're getting far away from a real value play here okay so free cash flow growth let's see that that's a check and in the last 10 years the free cash flow growth was 10 percent and we are actually looking for uh, free cash flow growth of 10 percent or higher but if we look at the last seven years, then the story is completely different. Because seven years ago, the free cash flow growth was something like 326%. And last year, it was minus 77. And through that time, the growth was going down every single year. And just last year, it went down from 130 million to 30 million of free cash flow. So it's a check, but if you dig just a little bit deeper, uh, it doesn't look that good. Okay, so what about uh, share buybacks? That's an X and that's a really big red flag. In the last 10 years, they issued another 90% of their shares. So basically, if you were an owner of half of the business 10 years ago, right now, you would own just over a quarter of that business. This is basically taking money from the shareholders and not giving it back. So that's a red flag. What about dividend yield? That's an X. Uh, they're not paying any dividends, but that's understandable. They're a company that is growing, that is uh, developing. So, okay, that's, that's fine. And the debt, that's an X. And it's another massive red flag because right now uh, it would take them 10 years to pay their debt. But actually it would take them 10 years to pay the debt uh, if we would take into consideration a five-year average uh, free cash flow that they have. If we would take into consideration just the current free cash flow, it would take them about 30 years to pay that debt. 
So the fundamentals, they, they don't look good and that's an understatement. But, you know, uh, it's a growing company. Maybe they'll make some money in the future. Uh, it doesn't look good, but you know, maybe, maybe I'm missing something. Well, what about uh, price to earnings? Well, we cannot say anything about price to earnings because there are no earnings. It's minus two dollars per every share. And uh, on one hand, yeah, okay, so it's a growing company. And yes, the revenue is going up, but they were never profitable. And there is another thing that's really worrying, and that is their uh, margins. Their profit margins are, are, are going down. They went down from 84% to 61%. So the revenue is going up, but the margins are going down and still they're not earning any money. So the future doesn't look that bright, in, in my opinion at least. But okay, so let's see the valuation of this company. So we will have to estimate the growth um, for the next five years and then another five years. And we will make three scenarios, a low, medium and a high one. But we will not use a current uh, free cash flow. Why? Because it is very low and maybe it was just one year off. Maybe it was a fluke. So we will use a five year average free cash flow that is much higher. So instead of 30 million, we will use uh, 92 million as the base to uh, calculate the value. Okay, so in the low scenario, let's expect for the first five years, 10% growth and then 8% growth. Medium scenario, 15% growth and then 12% and the high scenario, 20% growth and then 18% growth. So these are our three uh, different scenarios. And let's see the valuation with those data. As you can see, it is all red because the intrinsic value is somewhere between $18 and $55, depending on the scenario. And if we add a 30% margin of safety, and we always should do that uh, when trying to find the proper price that we should pay for a company, then we should be looking for a price between $12.80 and $38.50. And, and the current price is above $61. So we are not even close to any of the uh, prices that we should be looking for. So then you have to ask yourself why Pat Dorsey and Robert Vinal invested in this company? Well, the only thing I can think of is that they believe that my estimates are completely wrong, that the high estimate is actually a low one and that the high should be around 45% growth every year, because then it would clearly be a great investment. And, you know, for me, it's a pass, but maybe I'm missing something. If you have a different opinion, if you think my estimates are, are, are completely wrong, then please let me know in the comments. Tell me what did I miss? Uh, how should I look at this company to value it properly? Because right now it doesn't seem like a buy. So thank you very much. I hope this video was helpful and interesting. And uh, if so, then please like it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye.